so hey you guys it is they call me miss kelly here but just call me carol so i am going to repot my one of my sunflower plants that i planted from a seed <coughs> um i started out the plants ooh, i don't know how long ago a couple of a few weeks ago and all I had were these tiny little seedling pots that I got from Dollar Tree and I decided to plant some sunflowers right, so here is my sunflower plant look at this tiny little thing and look how tall it got and it's starting to come to a head to my head I don't know what variety sunflower this is um I don't know I don't think it's gonna grow that big because I'm growing it inside but I am going to move this sunflower I have three all together but this is the biggest one I am going to move this sunflower to this pot Now, usually from my research, you need a pot, oh, with a drainage hole. Drainage holes are important. Um, usually you need a pot that is 12 to 16 inches in diameter. It's probably about that wide going around, going across. But I don't have a pot that big because I live in an apartment and I have small plants. So this is the biggest pot I have available and it actually came from my aloe plant that I got from Aldi for $3.99. But my aloe plant is small enough to stay in that pot for a while. And I like to use clay pots because they absorb a lot of the moisture. And my problem with having plants in the house plants before was that I over watered them. When I did my research, clay pots help with over watering because they do not um, hold the water as much. And you can tell when your plant needs water when the clay pot goes dry like it's dry now if I fill it up with water it would turn a darker color right. so you would need your sunflower seedling and I'm gonna cut off some of the dead parts because I'm still learning how to grow sunflowers but I'm doing a pretty good job because the top's still doing fine so you need your sunflower I have my pruning shears from Dollar Tree and I believe I bought the sunflower seeds from Dollar Tree and the uh the clay pots and i bought the little pruning shears from dollar tree get you some gardening gloves you're supposed to use gardening gloves when you uh, work with soil so here's mine and my favorite color green dollar tree for a dollar it's seasonal, so I don't know if Dollar Tree still has gardening stuff available, but if they do, go check it out. It's super cheap. And it gets you a plastic tray. This is one that I already had. And again, I got this from Dollar Tree in the six pack for like a dollar. And you need soil. That's mine. <laughs> This is the one I'm using. It's my first time using this soil. I haven't even opened it yet. I bought it from Aldi for $3.99. Look how big it is. Right. So hopefully when I open this, there are no bugs in there because I don't do bugs. Okay, bugs belong outside, not inside. So I'm going to cut this open, put a little soil inside of my pot, and I've already cleaned my pot out just to make sure there's no uh, like bacteria or anything that can hurt my sunflower. Fill it up with a little bit of soil. If you're afraid of losing soil, put uh, the tray underneath, the plastic tray, because there's a large draining hole. Um, clay pots with draining holes are better because they drain the extra water. Flowers do not like to sit in water. They like for their roots to uh, eventually dry off. If you leave water on it for too long, on the bottom, it's going to get root rot. And it is hard to get rid of root rot. All right? Once your plant goes, it's going to be hard to bring it back because you took care of it too much, too much water. 
so you put or you can put a coffee filter in there but I don't have any more coffee filters so I'm just gonna throw soil in there and I use my hands so I have the, the gardening gloves on fill up your pot about this much with soil then I am going to take this out even this little pot has a drainage hole under it I'm just gonna take the whole thing out the best that I can without damaging the roots and then since it hasn't been in this pot that long I'm going to leave the roots together uh, in this soil that's in this pot it's also a regular organic uh, plant mix uh, potting mix with uh, the the persolite or misolite or whatever it's called the little white crumbs <laughs> to help drain the soil I'm going to take it out and then just put it right in here and then top it off with some more soil and then give it just a little bit of water sunflowers and they love the sun and even this little guy he really really does or she or whatever it they really do um follow the sun so make sure when they're seedlings like this because they really do follow the sun they won't go down with the sun make sure that you have your flowers in a window for at least six to eight hours a day facing towards the sun because as the sunflowers move yeah it's interesting but the stems can get weakened and they can break then you need something to open it up so i am going to open my potting mix soil that i got from aldi Fill up my please be no bugs please no bugs if it is this project is over it's going to the trash do me wrong all you i used to hate dirt and and nature and like i don't know what happened i finally just gave it a chance and now I can't leave it alone. Now I see why everybody raves about gardening, why everybody um, loves plants and flowers. It really is a skill that not too many people can do. And I didn't think I would be able to do it. And I have plants all over the house. A lot of my are seeds. Okay, and it's like a cheap hobby. Well, my plants are cheap. I don't buy the expensive ones. All right, so the soil is really dark and rich and there are no fungus gnats in this soil. Again, I just use my hands. You can use a trowel or a shovel. sunflower seedling in there. My first time growing sunflowers. So this could be a miniature variety. They call it like a dwarf sunflower. It could be a four foot, a five foot. I don't know. If it gets that big, you need like a, a gallon, 15 gallon drum bucket.
watering these about twice a day when the soil is going dry. See, if this hole was big enough, I would just push it right through the hole to get the plant. The last time I uh, changed the pots, the seedlings were very stressed and then they just came right back. And I don't think you need a big deep pot. Uh, I think the roots are more uh, spiral down, so you want a wider.
just learning. I needed, they needed water a lot. So you can see I got better as the leaves started to get bigger. Um, even though I started off badly, I made it. So I learned from my mistakes. Yeah, another big lesson to learn So for your kids, for your little ones, line of 